Valentine's Day is all about celebrating love, right? And for some, that may mean buying your loved one some diamonds, something sparkly. Now, whether you're in the market for an engagement ring or maybe just something sentimental, a sentimental piece of jewelry, it's important to do your research. Should you buy a natural or lab-grown diamond? They're popular now. Jen Sullivan looks into the pros and the cons. When it comes to engagements, Valentine's Day is one of the most popular holidays to pop the question. And like your love, a diamond is forever, so you want to make sure you're doing your research. The first decision is whether to buy a natural diamond or a lab-grown stone. We have learned how to pressurize carbon in a lab. Rachel Akmakjian with Brightco says a lab-grown diamonds are becoming more popular. And if you put one side by side with a natural stone, they look the exact same to the naked eye. It's just like growing a rose in a greenhouse versus growing it in your garden. Whether you're buying a natural diamond or lab-grown, you're still going to ask about the four C's. Carrot, the weight and size. Color, D being the best because it's colorless. Clarity, whether the stone is flawless or has some blemishes. And cut, which is how the stone captures light and sparkles. The big difference between natural and lab grown is the price tag. There is a pretty significant uh, savings when you go with, with uh, lab grown diamonds. According to Brightco, lab grown diamonds can cost 50 to 60% less than a natural diamond. That's because lab diamonds only take a few weeks to make. The process to mine a diamond is much harder. There is a certain challenge to getting that diamond from the mine to, to your finger, to, to, to the consumer. Here's another big difference, value. When you buy a natural diamond, you're making a serious investment. A natural diamond will retain its worth, and it's also going to cost you more to insure. For Consumer Watch, I'm Jen Sullivan.